Well, back in March, Rotherham and Huddersfield played out a drab, goalless draw as their collective descents into League One stood ever nearer. And now they've adapted to play back in the third tier. Well, that's been starkly different. Rotherham still searching for a win, still looking for a goal in League One. It's a fool's game, paying too much attention to the early season tables. Anyone who does, see the Millers in the bottom four. Two changes for Rotherham from the league defeat at Wickham. Fit again, Chris T. He is back after three games out. He's in for Sean McWilliams with Johnson Clark Harris coming in with Jordan Hugill in attack. As for Huddersfield, they've been hit by a raft of injuries, a shoulder issue for Brody Spencer suffered last weekend, and suspension for Matty Pearson after a red card in the Carabao Cup defeat to Warsaw means new loan signing Nigel Longbike goes straight into the defence for his debut. Play for the second ball, Clark Harris, not as lucky that time. Oh, that's been given away to Hogg as well, who couldn't control for the Terriers. And a scrappy passage of play, and really even scrappier. And Ben Wiles got in on the goalkeeper, Dylan Phillips. And that's been kept alive, and this is dangerous for Huddersfield now. And they were very nearly made to pay. And you won't find that last passage of play in any coaching manuals, but Sam Nomby, credit to him. He changed the whole length there. He beat the man on debut, Nigel Longby. Left him for dead. There's an overlap on here for a Adolfinov, but Kelly wants to use it. He's going to go route one instead, though. And the knockdown is good into the path of Johnson Clark Harris. And what a save that is. Lee Nichols. Deny Rotherham United's Johnson Clark Harris his first goal in this second spell at the club. Well, it was a brilliant bit of build up play. He had a right into the path of the former Peterborough front man. Lee Nichols somehow hits a right hand on it. by Marshall and then goes down under pressure from Tee. Oh, Huddersfield might have seen a way out of this and Wiles is trying to motor into Rotherham territory and he got back quickly nice dummy from Marshall this is Sorensen and he wasn't far away this time it's the Rotherham defence less left to ask questions of each other are there other options here maybe for Sorensen over down the line and Marshall in the centre He's got his head up though. Sorensen trying to feed Marshall. Oh, and they got in each other's way there. Up into the air, it is by Powell. Look at Evans shoot here. Headed behind by Jamie McCartan. I think he had to because for my money, that was heading on target. of Huddersfield bodies to aim for and Hellick was in there will keep a charge down for it and he might have to come again but Lees has put it over and he's apoplectic the goalkeeper Phillips and a big opportunity for Huddersfield to break the deadlock first it was Hellick and the ball came back in from Marshall he had to endeavour to keep that alive and then Lees it was who rose the ball kept rising Work for Rotherham in the first half, and it might work again here. Here's Wilkes just rode above the back of his knee. Marshall's going at route one here, and if the flag stays down, it could be a brilliant move. Karoma Evans and Marshall in the middle. And it's still Josh Karoma trying to use Wiles. Might have a go here, and not far away. Ben Wiles gunning for a goal against his former club. And he hits it with Venom. The chance rose to him. And he directed it just wide. And we're going to see a change here. Along comes Joe Hodge for his debut. Placing Anthony Evans. Also coming on, Danny Ward. Familiar face around these parts to replace Callum Marshall. Run for old. Ian with 
Wolves, Wolves club mate. And Michael signed just on Wednesday. And to the action he comes and off. Well, that was rash. Danny Ward with a jump into the air. What's the card going to be? It's red. And Danny Ward, the former Rotherham man, freshly onto the field, and he's leaving it. A straight red card for Huddersfield's Danny Ward in an inexplicable act. And what on earth was he thinking? Well, McCart up for the header. He's led with the arm. And I don't think he can have any complaints. McCart was clearly there first. I wonder if he's asking whether he should be allowed on, given it was a red card. I believe because the treatment took longer than the card took to dish out. He's had to stay at the side. Here's Karoma. Can Huddersfield still respond? Karoma still going here. And in from the debut man. It's Joe Hodge. And what a crazy couple of minutes. Huddersfield Town down to 10 men. And it's the man who signed only three days ago who has given him the lead at the New York Stadium. First goal in Huddersfield Colours for the 21 year old. And it's a tale of two substitutes. One man off Michael Duff's bench and is sent off within five minutes. The other has found the net and carved this game open, but a lot of the credit has to go to Karoma. Hell bent on getting into the penalty area. Hodge held his run. It's the kind of spot we've not seen at all from Huddersfield in this second half. Finally it comes, and it sets up an interesting final quarter of an hour. Another moment for him. And suddenly there's life in this game. Two reasons for it. Huddersfield down a man but up a goal. Rotherham still looking. Not first league one goal of the season, hard though it is to believe the chances they've had. The pressure they've exerted too. Here's Wilkes. He's been at the root of a lot of it. Oh, and Sorensen brings him down, and a penalty! And look what it means to Malik Wilkes. And a torrid afternoon for Lesser Sorensen continues, and no sooner have Huddersfield hit the front foot, their advantage is under threat. And they're a chance of off, 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 because Sorensen has already got a yellow card. And I don't know if we'll see another one here. It's clumsy, but this is punishment enough, Huddersfield. He's definitely holding him here, Sorensen. Rotherham scored both of their penalties last season. And will their first of this season fair. Mark Harris scores. And finally a goal in the league for Rotherham. And Huddersfield, he thought they'd struck gold. And now brought right back into a clash. And is the extra man going to pay now for Rotherham United? Johnson Clark Harris, his first goal of his second spell. A business like approach to the penalty. And he smashed it away. And even if Nichols had gone the right way, it would have been a tough one to keep out. Short again. It's a groundhog day. Every third time. In this situation, I just want my groundhog day. To stave off the advances of a home side who've grown from their start to the season. Towards Nombi it was. Defensive header there first up. Now Malik Wilkes. Floats that one in. And unbelievably, it was right onto the head of Hakim Odoffin. He couldn't put it either side of the goalkeeper. Straight as an arrow, right onto his head. And the head in hands should tell you all you need to know. Here's James. With the chance and the throw again to hurt Huddersfield. Click on with Hugh Gills. And Malik Wilkes. Crowd wants him to shoot. Oh, it's away from Nombi though. still trying to stop this cross have they overcommitted here oh it's in 
Would you look at that? Right at the end, it's Malik Wilkes. And what more is there to say? It's a derby that in the last 25 minutes has given us absolutely everything. And the man who fought so hard to bring Rotherham back into this game to win the penalty has fired through a sea of bodies. And it is, you have to say, no less than Rotherham deserved. He's enjoying his football in League One. Finally. He rode the challenge well. He got away from Hogg. It was all so easy. And a powerful strike. Nobody in the way of it. Hogg underneath it. Desperate to get the ball forward. Huddersfield, but it'll make no difference. And Rotherham have their first goals and League One win of the season. A win exciting in its nature, surprising perhaps as well. Finally their duck is broken. And a bad tempered game at times as well. Huddersfield not happy with some of the decisions that went against them. And they bounced into the lead after the red card for Danny Ward just minutes after coming on. And then Lester Sorensen bringing down Malik Walks for Johnson Clark Harris's penalty. He opens his account for the new season. And then it was a battle for Huddersfield to stay afloat at 1 1, for Rotherham to find the winner, and Malik Wilkes did. They had to work for it, they had to fight for it, but those are the wins you cherish most. And the end of this one, the three points are staying in South Yorkshire, Rotherham 2, Spirit Town 1.